the ancient best-selling author Feng Menglong gave up his comfortable life in his 60s and started a new career as a grassroots official in the remote Shouning County. Yet, instead of a welcome party, what awaited him was tigers, bandits, and pirates. The good news was, there was this tiger trap-making master Li Changjiao who was skillful enough to help. But the bad news was, the trap-making master was the head of the bandits. Riding on the back of a donkey, Feng Menglong headed to his first meeting with Li Changjiao. But he was captured by the guards the moment he approached the main gate. Let go of me. I'm the new governor of this county. I know who you are, and I want to see your boss. Ha 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 ha! If you know who we are, then you must know today is your last day on Earth. Really? I think today is a good day for all of us. Sir, we captured this man. He says he's the new magistrate. Has anyone ever seen a new county magistrate this old? Killed lawyer. Okay, sir. How about his books? This man brought some books with him. What? Books? Let me take a look. Wow, these are all Feng Menglong's works. Ah, this is my favorite story right here. Do you like Feng Menglong's books? I I guess so. I mean, I wrote them. I am Feng Menglong. I am so sorry, sir. I mean, you are my idol. But, sir, why are you here? In the mountain, all by yourself. I am searching for a tiger trap maker. You know, the tigers have hurt lots of villagers, and I must help. That I can do. My father was a hunter, and he taught me that when I was a child. Really, that is great. You are who I am looking for. Would you help me? At your service, any time, sir. It's my pleasure. I will even show you how to make a trap. This way, please. Thanks to the trap maker, the tigers were caught and never hurt people again. Even today, Chinese people still remember Feng Menglong as a model grassroots official who was determined in the face of daunting challenges and completed the mission impossible through great efforts. People often use Feng Menglong's words "shi zai ren wei" to describe these inspiring stories. The idiom "shi zai ren wei" is widely used to encourage people not to lose confidence in face of difficulties. If you want to know more about this remarkable man and his fascinating stories, just subscribe and listen to Old Wisdom, New Insights on all major podcast platforms.